do you recognise yourself when you see yourself written about? Um, uh, and, and do you say, well, oh, no, I'm like that. I mean, for example, there's one bit in, in this book where it wasn't by any means the most violent mm. part of the book, but I thought one of the most excruciating and made me wonder, in excruciating in a good way, made me wonder what kind of a boy you were. Um, the, 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 there's a man sunbathing in his back garden, and these kids come along and, and wonder how they can sort of, sort of torture him. And the, this is going to, according to one of them anyway, just uh, put a hose on, spray on him or something like that, yeah? Jeez. But no, along comes, you know, I imagine, Ian Banks. And he says, no, 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 look at the sun, and I've got a magnifying glass. And the guy's sunbathing there, and he concentrates the magnifying glass and the ray of the sun on the man's nipple and burns him. Now, I, I thought that was a pretty terrible thing to come up with. I mean, was this the sort of thing that was going on in North Queensbury in your childhood? No, that's a, it's actually a perfect example of, you know, where do ideas come from? Uh, I've got a good friend of mine, a chap called Guy Lloyd, uh, who's a proper professional music composer, and we're sort of working on, mm. on stuff together. Um, even now, as it were, and um, we were walking from his house, lives in um, uh, Chester, well, Chester called Hull, and uh, it's a nice wee house, but it's like b lot of, lots of back-to-back, -back, old-fashioned sort of the railway workers' houses, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of back-to-back -back houses, a little lane down at the back, and um, uh, you, you know, there was no sort of way through the house to the back garden. We went proper, you know, sort of back-to-back um, -back, uh, type houses. And we were walking th into the centre of Chester uh, for a cool, refreshing beer, one very sunny um, day. And we went um, a couple of streets and we passed one of these tiny little houses. When Gary's house, she walked straight in off the street, so it's here, no front garden at all. We passed this row of houses where there was a tiny front garden about the depths of this little stage, right? And there was a big fat guy, and he was sort of like, well, well that, you know, and his eyes were closed, and there was a sudden beating down on And we walked past, and part of our shadows, you know, Gary's and his, his, his wife and myself, our shadows sort of went over this guy's like, knees, whatever. And I thought, that's, that's a bit sort of intimate to be sort of sunbathing in your garden, where you know, a passerby could like just spit on you or whatever. But it was, I, <laughs> our, our shadows went over, and I thought, ah, you know, sh shadows. I thought, magnifying glass. <laughs> you could actually, <laughs> I thought, oh, that's vicious. So we walked on, and I went, <laughs> <laughs> I've just had an idea. <laughs> and this you know, happened about five years ago, so it was no, That's something like a, no, a, a boy. I know. That's terrible. I know. Well, mean? part of being a writer, I think, is to re retain your child childish nature, or child childlike nature. Yes. Okay, childish. Okay, let's, um, can, can we put the lights on? Is that...